<sighs> Not another one. Come with me. These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not. For very quickly, you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This is... No. This way. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? How is this even possible? Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head. We're almost there. Can you still walk? <laughs> you're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up. These voices. They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. We're here. Welcome to the Reverie! May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you.
You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? There was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or death. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers. Followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches. The vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? Understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall be. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and blue. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now, is ponder its significance. And then, you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. What's wrong?
wrong? Why are you crying all of a sudden? Uh, sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already... Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Pentaconi. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? Upend the ancient sea and return to old ground. Try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby and those endless rows. They're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. <laughs> Where are our rooms? But come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penaconi. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here! Something's not right! Should you need assistance with moving luck? Like 